the brutal truth if you want to really level up your life. Don't get pissed, okay? Just hear me out. You need to take accountability and take blame for every single thing in your life. Once we give away our power to anything in the outside world, anything that is not within our own mind, our own emotions, our own reactions, we lose. We automatically go into victim and blaming mode. And then we take on this notion that everything is happening to us and not through us. And look, that's not to say that there aren't things in your life that have molded your mind or given you trauma, but it is your job to learn and bring that awareness in and understand those things so that you can work with them, so that you can grow from them, so that you can learn from them. And so that ultimately you can use those things for your benefit so you can grow from them and shape them into something that can help you build the life that you actually want that you actually desire so buckle up because <laughs> some things i'm going to say in this video are probably going to piss some people off but i'd like to remind you before that happens if you are reacting to what i'm saying it's most likely because there is something within you that is being triggered by it and therefore something that can be changed which is a good thing triggers, emotions, and reactions are actually a, a really beautiful thing that our minds and our bodies do because they lead us exactly to where we are lacking and have room for expansion and growth. So use what I'm saying. Use this video to gauge where in your life that you can improve on. Here we go. It is the easy way out Okay, the easy way out to blame someone or to blame something for your circumstance. It allows you to sit back and believe that you have nothing to do with it, that there's nothing you can do. There's no fault within yourself. But guess what happens when you do that? Nothing, stagnation, no change, no movement, and eventually bitterness. When you look at your role in a circumstance or a situation or whatever it may be, even if your immediate thought is that you have no role, you give yourself the power to change it and to improve it. Let's look at relationships first. So let's say your significant other, whether you're married and in a long-term relationship, a situationship, whatever it is, they're not treating you right. Well, guess what? You've allowed it to happen. You haven't set the correct boundaries. Or if you have, you haven't enforced them. So they continue to treat you in a specific way. You know, you can sit there all day and say, well, he treats me bad or she does this or he always does that. But they wouldn't if you wouldn't let them. Look, I'll give you guys a personal example. Years ago, I was in a four year on and off again relationship and we lived together. And even though we cared about each other a lot, it was extremely toxic. Now, people throw this word around a lot. So a lot of times it loses its meaning, but he truly was the book definition of a narcissist. He gaslit me daily, he called me names, he left me in places and drove away and then turned around and blamed it on me. Like everything you could possibly imagine, right? He brought out the absolute worst in me. Well, so I can sit here and say, well, you know, so-and-so is a terrible person. I never did anything wrong. He treated me like shit, blah, blah, blah. But where is my accountability there? Because for a long time, I didn't take that accountability. I did push every Thing on him and the blame on him and and I did play victim because my accountability my own personal blame and fault in the situation it wasn't there so how did I get him to stop treating me this way I finally got the courage to break up with him and move out and it was very difficult the bottom line is you know I remember about two weeks into us dating, I'm, I'm, I'm really weird with dates, ask anyone in my personal life, like I'm just weird with it, right? I remember it was literally day 14 into us dating, so we weren't even in a relationship yet, and I was crying, like he made me cry. And I already felt like I was working to prove myself to him. That narcissistic, empathic dynamic had already begun. And I didn't even, and I didn't even know what that was at that point. I mean, I knew what narcissism was because my mom's an attorney and she actually teaches law students about narcissism, but I didn't know like what an empath was. I didn't know that whole kind of, you know, dynamic or anything. But like, it was my fault. I didn't enforce my boundaries. I didn't pull out of it and say, hey, like this isn't right, I don't accept this, this is disrespectful, blah, 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 blah. It was my fault 
the part of it that was my fault because it's not always all of our faults right like I'm not I'm not sitting here saying that you know everything in your life is 100% your fault but you have some blame in the situation and in my situation it was my fault that I stayed it was my fault that I allowed this dynamic to continue for so many years and I allowed it to get more toxic and more toxic and more toxic okay because at that time and even for a little while after I was in that victim mode I was in that victim mentality where I didn't do anything wrong it's him that's treating me this way it's not my fault yeah a lot of it is. And look, this doesn't have to be just within a romantic relationship. This can be friends, this could be family, this could be a work environment. It could be any type of personal relationship that you have in your life. We tell ourselves these, these stories that, well, this is the reason I'm this way, and this is the reason I get triggered by this, and this is the way I react to that. We cling onto this story for dear life. We have allowed this these stories to define who we are. And therefore, we have allowed other people to define who we are. And if you want help on how to let those stories and past regrets go, I will post this video here so you can check that out right after this one. But I also wanna talk about another kind of hot topic that people tend to play victim mode on, and that is money, money, money. So I want you to take an honest look at yourself and your relationship with money. And I bet, tell me if I'm right in the comments below, that 95% of us, including most likely you, yes, you, <laughs> have a negative subconscious belief or feeling towards money and why we don't deserve it and why we can't get more and how it's just, it's just so hard to get. Let me know if I'm right. But it's just not true. It's not true. You have to look at yourself and take accountability of the choices you have made in the past that have gotten you where you are and the choice that you continue to make every single day. You have to stop acting like there are no other choices out there. There are millions, <laughs> there are millions of other options and choices out there and choosing to be in the circumstance that we are currently in is in fact a choice. You know, we might get a degree, for example, and pigeonhole ourselves into a career that maybe we don't really wanna do. Maybe it doesn't bring us fulfillment or joy or whatever. Maybe it doesn't make us the money that we desire. And so we blame it on our boss or we blame it on our location or we blame it on our industry or we blame it on the fact, well, oh, well, I should have gotten this degree in college. I shouldn't have done this, da 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 da, -da. But all that does is once again, give away our power. So stop taking the easy way out and blaming everyone and everything around you for your circumstance. And I say this with love, okay? I do, I say it with love, but some of us need to hear it. <laughs> Look, take risks, okay? Hop around, test other things out, and step out of your goddamn comfort zone. That is like, if you're gonna take away anything from this video today, take that. Step out of your comfort zone and take the risk. Life is not as serious as we make it out to be. And look, I'm not saying it's easy. It's not. You know, my dad has always said to me, if it, whatever, you know, fill in the blank is, if it were easy, everyone would do it. And I have lived my life by that. But it's worth it. Look. I did the four-year college thing. I got the degree. I'm still paying my student loans. But guess what? I never used my degree. And that's okay. It's, I can sit here, right, and be pissed off and be mad that I'm paying these loans and regret my choices. Or I can just say, well, it is what it is. What can I do now moving forward? I didn't allow myself to not have other options. And you don't either. Either. <laughs> and you don't either. You have options. If you're not making the money that you want or you deserve or whatever, stop bitching about it to yourself, to everyone else around you, and do something about it. Try a brand new career. Start a side hustle. Network with people. Research. Research. <laughs> Why am I talking like this? <laughs> Just try something. It might not always work, okay? But guess what? It's just as likely 
to not work as it will work, right? So just try it. I've tried plenty of things that haven't worked out, okay? <laughs> things that I thought I would love. It's okay. Sometimes you try something and you learn that this shit's not for me. And then other times you try things and you're like, wow, I'm so glad I made this jump. I'm so glad I had the courage to step out of my comfort zone and do that. Okay, so do that for yourself. If you're spending too much money on shopping, on going out to eat, on alcohol or cigarettes or, you know, whatever, pick your poison, take responsibility again for your own actions. Stop using the excuse, oh, it was on sale. Oh, well, you know, I've always needed a drink to wind down at the end of the day, so I still do, but you don't. You didn't need to buy that because it was on sale. You don't need a glass of wine at the end of the day. You know, it, it goes back to the stories that we tell ourselves, but we have the power to change those stories. We don't have to continue in the pattern that we're in. Start telling yourself a new story. Start creating the life that you want. Like, fuck, just do it, okay? <laughs> You can do it. <laughs> it's not easy, but it is empowering. You deserve to feel empowered. You deserve the life that you want to live. So stop giving your power away and continue to be in victim mode because you're not going to get anywhere being there. Empower yourself and take blame for all the good, okay? Not just the bad, but all the good in your life and the bad. And look like, <laughs> I don't mean this in a, wow, I'm such a piece of shit kind of way. You know, it's actually, it's quite the opposite. It allows you to, to gain control over your life. It puts you back in the driver's seat instead of sitting in the passenger seat. Okay, be the driver of your own life. Find your role, okay? Find your role in every aspect of your life. One, be proud of yourself for the things that are positive, that you love, that bring you happiness and, and joy, okay? But the things that you don't, change it. Take your power back and change it. You just, you just have to be willing to. That's all, <laughs> that's all that this comes down to. You have to be willing to change it and to look at yourself under a microscope and take accountability. And once you do that, watch the entire direction of your life change in a way that you know you just you couldn't even imagine if you need a little bit of guidance or help in a specific situation where you're like i can't find my role in this i want to take accountability but i, I don't know how drop it in the comments below I'll, I'll i'll do my best to help you out i'm not going to charge you anything just you know comment below and let me know and we'll try to work through this together okay it's why i'm here it's why i made this channel it's why i created this video so just let me know in the comments below if you are having trouble figuring it out and we'll do it together if you found value in this video i would really love if you would consider liking and subscribing it really helps me out and i would appreciate it very much i love you guys so much and don't forget be limitlessly yourself Thank you.